Welcome to the Forming Effective Safety Committee's course. Your company has wisely decided to form a joint management employee safety committee, probably because, as OSHA says, employee involvement in decisions affecting their safety and health results in better management decisions and more effective protection. How can you help your employer make your workplace a safer and healthier place to be? Consider these cases. A safety coordinator at a major steel company reported a safety campaign that reduced OSHA recordable accidents by 50%, which saved the company about $1.5 million in costs. A multi-facility chemical giant credited safety committees as a major factor in significant injury reductions, including one location where workers' comp costs accounted for only $0.20 cents for every $1,000 of payroll. Safety committees encourage and heighten employees' involvement in the company safety program, thereby improving the results of the program. A safety committee not only fosters a sense of ownership by giving employees an opportunity to improve safety and reduce exposures within the company, it also enhances communications between management and employees. Working as a team, members of a safety committee are usually responsible for developing and reviewing safety procedures and policies, identifying and inspecting hazards, developing and implementing safety training programs, investigating and reviewing accidents, communicating safety issues to other employees, and organizing and conducting safety meetings. As you can see, becoming a safety committee member is both a big responsibility and a way to make a real difference in your workplace and in people's lives. It takes some effort. It's a serious decision and a worthwhile one. If you are considering taking part, you might want to ask yourself some questions. After completing this course, you will be able to describe the benefits of safety committees, recognize the ways safety programs rely on safety committees, describe steps in planning and organizing a safety committee, and describe the effective operation of a safety committee. You will also be able to recognize management's part in the various roles of a safety committee, including describing processes for evaluating and improving a safety committee, and identifying sources of training for safety committee members. OSHA recognizes that employee involvement is one of the keystones of successful programs of occupational health and safety, and one of the best ways to achieve this involvement is through forming a joint employee management safety committee. Along with management commitment, employee involvement makes up the first point in OSHA's four-point workplace program which is based on the Safety and Health Management Guidelines, issued in 1989, that represent the agency's policy on what every worksite should have in place to protect workers from occupational hazards.